All right, uh, so we have this, the, the equation for entropy is just Q over T. Um, this T is set because, um, is this, is this silver, is it melting or is it freezing? No one has the problem in front of them? It's freezing? Okay, so if it's freezing, then that means it's releasing this heat. So, uh, should that be negative or positive? Something added. Yeah, so it's becoming less. So this should be a negative value. And then, um, I don't know, I was looking at the heat of fusion yesterday. Or does anybody know the heat of fusion of silver? It's actually in your book, but yeah. How much? 236. Okay. Um, so it's 200, is it 236 uh, kilojoules per kilogram? Okay, I'm guessing it's 236 joules per gram. So it's probably going to be kilojoules per kg. And then that amount of heat is being removed from this stuff. And you have to put that over the freezing point or whatever the freezing slash melting point of silver. Oh, yeah. So the freezing point of silver. Um, How hard is this? How can the freezing point of silver be 961 degrees? Oh, I guess because that's the melting point, right? Yeah, so if I think of it as the melting point, that's fine. So the melting point of silver is 960, let's say 962, just for, for grins. Um, so uh, the temperature of melting for silver is 962. Uh, degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, pretty sure we have to put this in Kelvin. So, what? Uh, how do I change that to Kelvin? Uh, at 1173, right? 1173, 273. Jeez, sorry. Uh, 273, which is going to give us 1265. No, 1235. Kelvin, I can't remember, for entropy, do you have to put it in, in Kelvin or not? Well, at any rate, 0.4 times that is going to be eight. like 60 something. What does this come out to be? Sorry? Oh, that comes out to be 94? Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's 0.8 and 92. Uh, 94. Alright, we have this many kilograms, kilograms cancel. 94 kilojoules, so something like 94,000 joules over 1235 Kelvin. Okay, so now that everything looks different, because <laughs> we just came back after pausing, um, a couple things. We found this was not correct. We also had the wrong mass, and you don't have to convert this to Kelvin. Um, maybe an easy way to remember when you convert is if something you're multiplying has Kelvin in it, then you have to convert. Or if you're trying to find a ratio, you know, like P1, V1 over T1, if you're using ratios of the temperatures, then you have to be in Kelvin. Otherwise, you can leave it in Celsius. So there you go. We're doing good there. Uh, what's part B? Part B was like explain or something, wasn't it? Uh, 
Oh, okay. So then, does it make sense to you that this is more ordered? Because it froze. <laughs> you went from liquid to a solid. It must be more ordered. Disordered. Or whatever. Less disordered. Hopefully everyone here realizes those two statements are the same thing. Hey, Alan. Mr. Feng said if people can produce some sort of organized kata thing, they could do it at one of the assemblies. I like how that's 